this season, but today Premiership points up for grabs. At three-quarter time, the Blues held a narrow lead, but wouldn't be enough in the last quarter. Or to find out, let's join commentators Kim Dillon and David Mackay. Final term here at Adelaide Oval, the battle between co-tenants at Adelaide Oval. Half-time, it was 20 points the difference, but the South Adelaide were able to whittle that back to 11 points at the three-quarter time break. Warner off the wing, drives forward. Hewitt, who's been a star today, has taken another good mark in defence. Had the better of Benson during the first half. The force move came to move Delina on to Hewitt. Wide as Bodie. Bodie's kick is not a long one. There's not much penetration in that one. Pittman was underneath it, so too Delina, but the ball is carried across the line and out of play. Right in front of the grandstand, centre wing position. Be David Reynolds and Gary Christie. Reynolds from behind got the tap, went down to Harris. He's handled over the top to Dickinson. Dickinson with pace, accelerates through centre, goes towards centre half forward. Max Eddy from behind almost took the mark. Warner thrown off the ball. Now Underwood wide. Plenty of space, but behind play, Stasinovsky's held Underwood by the ankle, says the umpire. So the free kick will go back the way of Andrew Underwood. Well, that was unfortunate for South Adelaide because they were streaming into attack as Underwood drives that across ground looking for Whittlesey. That's a great mark from behind. Over the top of Max Eddy. It'll, Whittlesey decides to use the run provided by Pake. Pake goes inboards towards Painter. Now Painter drives long looking for Kitsky. Wilmot back there. Kitsky with the mark. Oh, beauty. Well, the two big men were back there. Sturt had all the tall timber. South were caught out of position. Schnabickler was running backwards. Arla Bodie could not get a hand to that one. And I would imagine Kiske will post this, which he has, which puts South Adelaide and packs Sturt to 10 goals, 11-71. Leading South, 7-12-54. And that was Kitsky's first goal. Yes, Kitschke's first goal came as the result of good, quick forward movement by the Double Blues. They look very, very good when they've gone forward. They've got a number of good young players. Warner on the wing is one. Also blooded a new player. And young John Richter in the back pocket has also performed very, very well. Back at the centre. Christie opposed to uh, Reynolds. Reynolds wins the tap down towards Delina. Taken by Butler. He was well tackled. Smith in there. Smith's been a quiet player today, Daryl Smith. See, in recent weeks, he's been picking up a number of possessions whilst ruck roving. Just a little bit quiet today. Reynolds again with a tap. Pittman out there, taken by Schnabickler. His kick out wide towards the boundary line. Smith leads in the chase. Should just cut the ball off. Loses his footing. Managed to get boot to ball. Back around the corner. Butler there. Underground hand pass towards Pittman. Over towards Jarvis. Jarvis drives that one long. Taken by Kaplan. Harris. Down towards Stasinovsky. Pake applies the tackle. The ball comes loose. Harris again. Over to David Kaplan. Kaplan in turn to Max Eddy. Now Panthers with a chance here as Eddy centres that ball up high there with a big leap. Was Downs. Pierce with a chance, a snapshot on its way. Oh, he's hooked it back just too far. It's offline. It's a promising attack to the uh, Panthers side. 7-13 plays 10-11, and we've had three minutes of the final two. Randall Pierce is a gangling 17-year-old. One of the youngsters at South Adelaide have unearthed, the former Macclesfield boy. Been impressive today. He hasn't got much body bulk. We need to do some work there, but certainly shows a fair bit of promise as Reed goes wide. Underneath that one, Robert Veal, the man with the perennial suntan, goes long. Coming out on top of that ball was Craig Dewhurst. The handball over the top goes to Stephen Hample. Hample in turn to Dickinson, who touches the ball to ground. Goes long. Max Eddy's there. So too underneath that one, Harris. But underneath the, the two of them was Underwood. The quick handball goes on. Daryl Smith, in fact, he has appeared to be quiet today, but I think when you look at his stats at the end of the day, he'll still be around the mark. Scott Veal hits strongly. Steve Eckler, free kick. Field, long into the forward zone. Out is Kitsky, up, he's gone! Oh, what a specky! Oh, he had his name all over that ball. He's taken a very good mark, the big man. 
Kicked a goal only moments ago when he took a good strong mark in the goal square. That would have got his confidence up. Now Damien Kitsky. 30 metres out, almost directly in front. Bangs away at goals. Goal number two for him. The double blues advance to 11 goals, 11. 77 leading South Adelaide, 7-13-55. Well, we've seen Sturt in a number of games this year. On every one of those games, Big Kitsky had the ability to pull down a big grab. That's his second or third one today, and he certainly is a player with a lot of potential. Had a full-on approach to that ball, flew high, eyes on the ball all the way. It was a great passage of play. You like to take one of those marks every day. Kitsky. Reynolds it was with the tap, stolen by Dickinson with pace. He's been a good player this afternoon. Max Eddy, LBW. Whittle see the handball out, intercepted by Butler. Well, Dickinson in turn the handball to Eddie. Eddie went without the ball. He's fortunate enough to come back for a second opportunity. Butler to Dickinson, Dickinson long. Underneath that one, Kapler. Mate was there, missed it. Kapler stole it, he did that well. Now Harris, he can line up the goals. This is what the South Adelaide side need. Shorty goes, the mark's been taken by Steckle. Bucks of fortune, I think he was going goal with bound. Steckle had the benefit of being the man in front, he took the mark. Hasn't got a goal to date, big forward. Picked 11 in a game early in the season. Not much joy for him this afternoon. 15 metres out, the angle's quite acute. Doesn't worry, the big fellow, however, right through the middle. That's the first to Steckle. Eight goals, 13. South Adelaide trails. Sturt, 11 goals, 11. Well, the Panthers just hanging in there. I'm sure that kick wasn't meant for a Steckle, but he was in the right place at the right time, and it certainly was a good mark as the ball wobbled in towards him at eye level. 61 plays 77. Panthers still a chance in this game, and it's been pretty entertaining football. Entertaining football's right. Second half's been an absolute beauty. Christie gets a tap down. Smothered off the boot by Brockhurst. The kick came from Smith. Now Butler over the top of it, fighting hard. He paddles it wide. Robert Beale, suntan man. Off in turn to Underwood. His kick is long. Hewitt almost took a good backward mark, but he's got a free kick anyway. Pushing the back from Scott Fields and umpire Colin Ricketts. Hewitt. Grandstand side, centre wing. Pierce couldn't control the ball. Reed, we haven't seen much of him today. Smith forward to space. Wide, it's Hewitt an opportunity. Star today. Now Bodie. It's worked hard. Steve Bickler started the game in the forward pocket. Playing centre half back. What the old kick? David Reynolds. Reynolds has Klomp into space. Klomp high. Threw a little before acceptances. Painter shovels it forward. Setting through it. Well, I'm not sure about that. Up by Colin Ricketts was the man on the spot. He had a better view of it than I did. Well, John Painter certainly doesn't agree. We was just off camera there, but uh, he certainly expressed his disapproval of that decision as Harris takes another mark. He's got better as the game's gone on. He's obviously down a little bit on fitness as well, so I think this youngster can only improve. Drives that long from behind Pierce. Couldn't get a grab to Dickinson. Held high. And without the ball. Also not happy with the treatment that uh, he received from Underwood, and he receives 15 metres. This game starting to heat up once again as the mark's taken there by Pate. The goal there to South would have been very handy. It would have 16 points as the margin. The goal there would have got them back to within 10. Steckel set himself, but I think he was uh, bundled off that ball. Underwood out of the back pocket. Worked hard today. Kick it long. Christie for South Adelaide has the mark at the true centre half forward position. He elects to go wide underneath that one. Harris. Reed did the thumping away. Now painter wide. Smith picking up a number of touches in this final term. Smith long looking for Klomp. Steve Bicklin Klomp wrestling. Klomp took front position and brought the ball down. Whittlesey tackled strongly. Klomp over the top has forced the ball up. Got a hold of young Craig Dewhurst and absolutely rattled him. Very solid clomp in his tackling. Steckles just left the ground after kicking that goal. He's limping rather badly, and uh, Stasinowski's come back onto the ground as the ball goes deep into the uh, stirred defence, or attack, should I say, as Dewhurst punches that ball back. Pittman over the top. Quick handle back out to Dewhurst. Eddie's all by himself. Well, let's see if the Panthers can set something up as the crowd starts. 
wants to get involved in this game. He drives in looking for Young Pierce. Got two grabs at it, couldn't hold it. Recovers well. Back to Dickinson. Inboard towards Kapler. Will the ball sit up? Yes, it does, but it only breaks the tackle from Whittlesey. Kapler now with a long ball in towards Stazza. Couldn't take it. Butler off hands. Back towards Pittman. Under hand pull. Hand pull, should I say. Offline for a point. So 15 points in this game. That was a goal that South Adelaide needed. Apple had the quick opportunity. There was plenty of pressure there, but they're the ones that make or break you. Gee, you can feel for Rick Davies when shots like that go astray. Warner off to Underwood. The two solidly built defenders combine well. Now Jarvis, former Norwood man, accelerates with pace along grandstand wing. Stasinovsky looks to play on. He hasn't got as much pace as he used to have, Stasin. I think that troubles him. That knee certainly is a bother for him this afternoon, too. That left knee heavily strapped. Back into play. McCarthy will do the ruck work for the double blues. Pierce for South Adelaide. McCarthy got the tap down. Pittman to handball. He turned to Eddie. Slow motion, Eddie. Fake the handball. Kapler swings out of trouble. Lines up the goals. He's got it. He's nailed it. Oh, dear me. There's now only nine points in this game, and South Adelaide are a real chance of getting right back and winning it. Great play. Well, Max Eddie, for one moment there, I thought the whistle had blown. He seemed to just do it in slow motion, but he certainly knew what he was doing. He was waiting for Kapler. He fed the ball off to Kapler. He fainted inside his opponent, steadied and banged through a beauty. 68 plays 77, and it's anybody's game here at Adelaide Oval. We've had 11 minutes of this last quarter. It was the double blues at complete control early in the game. Now South Adelaide are on the march. They're on the way back. Christie through centre, drove his own tap, forward he goes into space, but the playing in the forward lines has given them a little bit of bite over the top of the ball. Colin Ricketts, ball up. It's an indication of the desperation that's come into this game. Neither side prepared to give the other an inch. Kitsky and Ruck versus Christie. Christie fed out the handball to Kapler, his kick was smothered. Pake back in turn, tackled high was McCarthy, no free kick. Pake wide, Richter, the short kick. Underneath that one, Painter. He'll play on, there's no mucking around there. No, he goes back, he wants to find a man. It's a good thing about John Painter, he'll hold the ball until he can find a man. Very little movement forward. Bump heads towards centre field, that's the way Painter goes. Brings back the kick, Robert Beale under that one. Now Steve Bickler, handball's back, conceding ground. Hewitt, under pressure, threw out the handball high over the top to Dewhurst, in turn Jarvis. Long again to Brockhurst, playing out of the centre. Brockhurst comes in board Christie. They're combining well. South Adelaide, Jarvis, the feeding handball. Long into the forward zone. Stasinovsky's there and he's got it. Oh, South Adelaide are playing with inspiration. 68 plays, 77. There's nine points in this. Stasinovsky already has one goal. He left the field for part of this game. That knee obviously worrying him. Goes long. It looks good. He's got it. Three points to the margin this game. South Adelaide are on the way back and Sturt, don't tell me, could they blow it? Well, they've led all day and they've appeared to be in complete control of this game, but now there's only three points in it as Stasinowski took a great mark. And, uh, gee, I saw I was watching Rick Davies and as Stazza went up, so did Rick. And uh, he's certainly involved in this game because, uh, let's not forget, it's for the battle for bottom. Well, the other side of that, of course. Sturt can win today. They're only two or three games out of the five, so even though they're battling for the wooden spoon, they're also Sturt in more than so playing for a place in the five. Woodville did it last year. They started a late run. Sturt have the talent, there's no doubt about that. South Adelaide certainly have a few good players. You wonder why they're on the bottom. When they play football like this, Rick Davies, you can see some talent out there. Scott Field, the quick kick forward. Coming out strongly underneath that one was Craig Dewhurst. He's been a strong defender today. Dewhurst elects to go wide. The run was provided by Olaf Bodie. Bodie the long handball over the top. Max Eddy into space. He picks this ball up. He's left a couple go earlier. Hewitt off the ground cleverly. He did that well. And turned a handful. Eddy over the top he goes. Brockhurst into the open goal. He's got it. South Adelaide for the first time today have hit the front. They didn't score a goal in the first quarter. They only got one in the second quarter. But they're coming home with a wet sail. Well, I cannot believe it. South Adelaide have hit the front. They're three points in front. And this game has turned into an absolute humdinger. Brockers, have a look on his face. He's pretty pumped up. There's Rick Davies. He'd be a tense man at the moment. You could only have admiration for his boys because they haven't been in the hunt all day. And this has been one of the
the greatest comeback since Lazarus. Dave Nelly Melville hit your heart out South Adelaide. They've got back into this with desperate football. They've played on at every opportunity, and it's been that play on football that's got them back into this game. Sturt need to settle. Laurie Argent will throw the ball into the air again. Fairclough comes up with the ball. Kitschke and Ruck versus Christie. It's Christie that's provided them plenty of bite in the second half. Good mark again to Dewhurst. Two in two minutes for that defender. Their defence has been solid the second term, second half. Wide it goes to Jarvis, creating space. Along the outer side he goes. Brockhurst underneath that one. Whittlesey did the spoil. Now Eddie, he's picked up important touches this term. Underwood over the top of it. Another ball up. Well, Max Eddie, he certainly has a dip. There's no doubt about that. He gives 100%, gets at the bottom of packs and works very hard for his side. No one worried about contesting that throw up as Jarvis gets his body over the top of the ball. Breaks away, now drives in long. Stazza opposed to Downs. Downs gets to the ball first and gets a handball away and finds the safety of the... Uh, the safety of Daryl Smith. I thought that ball was going to go out of play. Smith drives in long. Hewitt just got underneath that one. Russell on to Painter. Now to Veal. Gets around two opponents. Great tackle. Well, oh, desperate work by Fairclough. Kapler. Now out to Dewhurst. The Panthers are on the march. There's no doubt about that. They've lifted their work rate by 100%. The ball comes in long. Stazza again. Couldn't take it. Richter. Underwood. Over to Downs. The Blues under plenty of pressure. Jarvis saddled his opponent, then it gave away a free kick to John Painter. Intelligent football, Painter held his ground. Certainly a thinker. Painter senses the urgency, gets the ball in quickly. And the mark's been taken by Benson, who's back on the ground. Galena's off. Benson beaten clearly by Hewitt in the uh, first half. A good pair of hands, Matt Benson. I would suggest that it'd be only his first or second mark for the game. 55, 60 metres out, the ball falls short. Up high was Bodie to spoil, but the free kick will go the way of Brooksby. Graham Brooksby plays on with a handball. He'll have to go back, though, as he has to play over the mark. This gives the third players time to pick up a few loose men. I should just explain, Kim, when the umpire calls the player on the mark back, the player taking the free kick must go over the mark. Ball very close to the boundary line. Kappler trying to weave his way through the pack. Eventually the ball goes out of play. We've had 18 minutes of this, uh, 17 and a half minutes of this final quarter. 77 plays 80. South are in the front for the first time since the start of this game. Christie and Ruck, 32 for South Adelaide. Kitschke number three for the double blues. Back to back they go. Christie got the tap down. Kapler tried to burst his way through the pack, but Kitschke almost came out with the ball. Dewhurst gathers it in and holds it in his possession. Well, the South Adelaide runner, David Harradine's out there. He's directing players where to stand, telling players who to pick up. And in fact, I think he's been on the ground more than off today, and uh, he's certainly making sure the South Adelaide players keep their mind on the job. Yes, Harradine, an experienced player with Woodville in South Adelaide. Now running for Rick Davies. Now South Adelaide are running. Brockhurst. Long to his half forward, Butler there with Pake. With pace coming through as Peter Reed. He slips over at the crucial moment. The handball was fed off to Pake. Short he goes, looking for Scott Field, wide of that player. Dickinson gathers in the ball, but it's across the line. Main turn of the boundary up. I'll bring the ball back into play. And as Harradine, the uh, South Adelaide runner, leaves the field. He's pointing something out to Rick Davies. So a couple of coaches out there. Dickinson picks up the ball. Desperately into the forward zone. Good mark, Tony McCarthy. He's been very solid in defence today. Boundary umpire is telling Harradine to stay off. I'm not sure what that's all about. Now an opportunity, Stephen Hample. Zigzags out of trouble, goes wide. The kick's not long enough, however. He was looking for Harris. Smith intercepted and took a good mark. He changes direction of play again. A cross field to Underwood, to space. Underwood in turn changes direction, comes back grandstand side. Out on the lead uh, strongly was Benson, he couldn't take the mark. Now Russell over the top of it. Dewhurst, cleverly, handballs on. Off the ground, it was Hewitt, he was met solidly by Smith, didn't worry him. Off 
off the ground and was fair. Glow out of bounds on the pull. I don't think he meant to do that. He certainly did. The free kick will be taken by Daryl Smith. 20 minutes gone in this uh, final term. South Adelaide lead by three points as Smith drives that in long, looking for uh, Klomps. The Bickler there couldn't take it. Painter recovers first. Paddles the ball. Tried to paddle it back between his legs. It comes back out to Dewhurst. He may have found his niche in defence. He's had a good game today. Whittlesey with the handball over to Richter. In turn to Underwood. Painter shepherding. Now the ball. Ville drives it long. There's nobody home for the Blues, though. As Brooksby runs himself into a little bit of trouble. And eventually, whilst trying to get that handball to Dickinson, the ball has gone out of play in the left forward pocket. 77 plays 80, and we have got a game of football here at Adelaide Oval. Well, you would have thought earlier on that uh, perhaps Sturt had this game sewn up. South Adelaide had different ideas. 77 plays 80, there's only three points in it. You can feel the crowd on the edge of their seats. Nobody's going to leave early today, that's for sure. Max Eddy shovels out the handball. Desperate work on that occasion from Hample. Picked up by Underwood. He feeds off the handball to Paint down from the back line. Badly dispatch kick. He was looking on the lead for Wilmot. Kapler has intercepted. Kapler the handball in turn to Brooksby. He's been solid. He spins out of trouble. Drives wide. Butler down from the forward pocket. Handball's across the top. Christie with Rome. Goes deep into the forward zone. Stasinovsky's there bottling for position. He picks it up. He handball over the top. He's done just that. Richter intercepts, fair close there. Free kick for Richter. Up by Colin Rickett said that Richter was hit in the back. And awarded Richter a free kick. The young under-19s captain from last season. Who also won their under-19s best and fairest. Good crowd in the background enjoying this game. Warner comes through. Double blues are in the, uh, in the play. Jarvis tackled strongly. He was thrown off the ball, holding the ball. Paid in the free kick. The double blues go forward. Dickinson turned his back to play. It was crucial. It allowed Benson to come out on the lead. And Daryl Hewitt is not happy about that at all. Dickinson was in the right position, but he had his back to play. Benson, who was well beaten early by Hewitt, now has an opportunity of putting the double blues back in front. 80 plays, 77. South Adelaide have the lead. They still have the lead. One point. They now lead by only two points, the Panthers. Sturt after having control of whittling this away. The situation very tense here at Adelaide Oval. Brooksby to bring the ball back into play. Kicks to the outer side, looking for handball. The ball out that direction. A valiant attempt by the youngster, but he couldn't control that ball. Just managing to touch it before it went over the line. 23 minutes gone. We're two minutes away from time on. The Panthers lead by two points in a remarkable turnaround. Haradim, the South Adelaide runner, is still out on the ground. He certainly earned his play today. It's Reynolds with the tap. He's fallen out of the game just slightly. This man's come right into it in Jarvis. That kick was smothered and the ball has gone out of play, out of bounds, on the outer side. Yes, you're right. Haradim, the South Adelaide runner, Kim, he's been out on the field directing passages of play. Pretty handy to have a bloke of that experience out on the field. Ball comes back into play. 78 plays 80. There's now only two points in it. Tension builds out in the field. We're a minute and a half off time on. Reynolds in ruck. Opposed to Christie. It's Christie who's given South Adelaide drive in the second half. Warner over the top of the ball. Pittman in pursuit of him. The umpire has called for a ball up. Oh, and who would have thought midway through that second term when South Adelaide hadn't scored a goal that they'd be in this position? Beal drives Sturt forward, hands on knees. Hewitt coming out of it with Jarvis and Klomp. Wilmot's there making sure the ball doesn't go too far away. Boys are enjoying this tussle. Bodie and Ruck. Kitschke got the tap down. Bodie jumps on top of the ball. South Adelaide defenders are making sure that the double blues are unable to score. They enjoy currently a two-point lead. It's going to go down to the wire. Veal with another quick kick forward into the pocket. It goes. Brooksby, Klomp, heavy body work. He's kept the ball in play. Now he swings out of trouble. He even got a kick, Klomp. He did that very well. Kitsky and Wilmot collided. Brooksby over the top. And another ball up. Whoa. Desperate work out there. The players must be very tired, but they're still going hammer and tongs. 15 metres out from the third goal. It's a Bodie up high. Couldn't get hands to ball. Wilmot over the top. Desperate work. In there is Veal as well. 
and uh, the Sturt side would be desperate for a quick tap and snap. Put one right through the middle and put them four points in front. They trail by two points, 11-14 to 11-12. Kitsky with the tap. Bill tried to snap, couldn't get the, a decent kick away. Over the top of that is Hewitt. And he has battled his heart out all day today, Daryl Hewitt, and be very high on the list of best players. Oh, up in the air again. Up high with Stabickler, trying to concede the point. No, it's a still, or Benson, in fact, it was. So there's a point, there's one point in it. And we've just hit time on in this final quarter. 80 plays, 79. Anybody's game as Brooksby brings the ball back into play. One point the difference. Incredibly, one point the difference. Brooksby goes short to pit, but in fact, Matt Benson has had the last two shots at goal, both points. Could have put the double blues in front. A long torpedo. Reynolds couldn't take, couldn't take control. Dickinson to Brockhurst. Reynolds couldn't get dispatch the ball. And now another ball up. So we played 45 seconds into time on. 79 plays, 80. This game is going right down to the wire. Christie with the tap wide has found Pittman. That was well placed. Pittman dives long. Rick Davies has just put his hands over his head in despair after that kick as Reed punches the ball in quickly. The South Gates worried and why shouldn't he be? There's not much in this game. Pittman in there working hard to try and correct that error. Bill trying to tap the ball. Full credit to Pittman. Desperate work. Still in there battling. Dewhurst over the top. Kim Russell in there. Jarvis. Oh, this is slogging stuff. That's hard football out there. Heavy conditions. The players have been tired. We've had five kick we've had a minute and a half of time on i would suggest it'd be two minutes at the most re remaining in this game bodie down to dickinson tried to weave his way through dispossessed jarvis over to pitman let's see what he can do this time weaves his way out of trouble it wasn't a good kick dewhurst in there again so too is scott field oh neither side giving an inch no, South Adelaide defenders jumping on the ball at every opportunity. They know that even a point here to the Double Blues will rob them of two points for the victory. Beal tried to get the quick kick away, and yet again, Schnee Bickler diving on the ball. They're just playing for time, South Adelaide. They only have a one-point lead, and the victory here today is crucial. McDavies must be feeling it. Merv Kane also on the bench. Dewhurst paddles the ball through cleverly. That was courageous work. Rockhurst has been a star in centre, drives forward. Underneath that one was Harris, out of play. Oh, dear me. South Adelaide supporters, you can feel them urging their side on. Double Blues fans on the edge of their seat, willing their team to get a goal. Be fitting if this game ended up a draw the way both sides have battled it out. Will there be enough time for the Double Blues to score a point? 27 and a half minutes gone. One point separating the two sides. What a season of football we're experiencing in South Australia. It's been great stuff. As Brockhurst tapped the ball forward, down the line, Harris, he lost his footing. He's a tired boy. But by Crokey, hasn't he had a good second half? He's gone down with cramp on three occasions and he's still out there battling. And, uh, oh, the South Adelaide bench going berserk. Their, their arms are going everywhere. Their signal's going left, right and centre. Reynolds with a tap. Reed over the top. Hayter in there. I think South are going to hang on. Well, there could only be seconds left in this game as umpire Cole Ricketts throws the ball in the air. Will the Double Blues have time? Bearclay dropped back to the back of that pack. He did that well. The kick went forward. Now an opportunity for Pate. Through the centre he goes. Fields out the side. It's gone. South Adelaide have won it. Look at Rick Davies. He's a very happy man. He snuck away with a victory. South Adelaide despairing early in the game. Have got up to win by one point and a miraculous turnaround of fortunes. There's some very happy South Adelaide supporters, players. Oh dear me, a boil over at Adelaide Oval. 11, 14, 80. You'd reckon Rick Davies had won the Premiership, wouldn't you? And I suppose it felt that way against his old side Sturt. Well done, Panthers. Checking now the quarter by quarter scores and Sturt led at every change except for the one that counts. In fact, in the second half, South kicked 10-7 to 7-4 to get up by a point. Schnee Bickler and Stasinowski, the best of the goal kickers, two each for South, while for Sturt, Wilmot kicked three goals. Well, as I mentioned, wins few and far between for South Adelaide over recent times. And I guess for the veteran skipper, John Schnee Bickler, they must be especially sweet. He's speaking here with Kim Dillon. 
John, congratulations on a one-point victory, but today there was it was really two games of football out there today. Yeah, you're probably right, Kim. Um, yeah, I guess the first half uh, we didn't reach uh, any great heights, but uh, you know, full credit to the guys. We fought hard in the second half, and uh, it shows that we can can play footy, which is a pleasing part. Well, in actual fact, you kicked 11 goals for the day, and 10 of them came in the second half. What what do you think lifted your side? Well, I guess we made a few positional changes at half time, and. Uh, uh, it was a different atmosphere this week at halftime. We knew it was still in it. We were only three goals down. And uh, yeah, we were pumped up pretty well to start the third quarter. And we went out there in a positive frame of mind and uh, yeah, we played very well. In the second quarter, uh, Stasinowski was taken off the ground. He's obviously suffering from a knee injury of some form. He is, he is. He's, and with, without a knee, he's also got um, an ankle injury and, and a hamstring problem as well. So uh, you know, full credit to him. He, he came out and fought on well and kicked a couple of goals, which is great. I thought your defence today were the people that really kept you in the game and uh, Dewhurst in defence looked a far more confident player now and uh, we can't forget to, not to mention Hewitt so You're I thought right. he was best on ground You're today, right. Daryl Hewitt. He played very well, so did Dewey and, uh, and Andrew Jarvis and Phil Brooks we played well but uh, you know, I guess uh, guys like Dewey have played up forward and uh, I guess uh, you know, it's just a, a fresh, uh, fresch position to play at and uh, it's a different, different frame of mind, you know, it's just straight down the line and uh, he's loving it. Well, you're still bottom, but only on percentage, but, uh, gee, it must be a change to win a game. Yeah, we won't worry about being bottom tonight. We worry about the win, so we'll have a few celebrations, eh? Well, it was a great game. It was the most entertaining second half of football I've seen for a long while. Let's hope you can go on with it from here. Yeah, I hope so, Kim. It just shows that we can play footy when we want to, so that's a pleasing part. Thanks, John. John Schneebickler, captain of the Victoria South Adelaide. That's uh, nice to say for a change. Daryl, just the tonic that South have been looking for. They don't win too many. True. Uh, the weather's a great evener. I can see Rick Davies. He seems to be going quite grey now, Rick, doesn't he? He's, he's really copped it, and you feel for him. Some signs, though, a little stronger physically than Sturt. I thought Gary Christie in the vision that we saw was excellent, kept getting the touches. Brock Hurst, they've got some good players south. It's just a matter of increasing their depth. What about lining the sides uh, up man against man? And you get Sturt, a very young side, probably younger mm. than south, and a side of the future. But Merv Kane must be concerned at their fade outs. They did it last week, too. No, I think we've always anticipated that Sturt will take time this year. This is a blooding year, and they've yet to grow physically and get the experience. And so too with South, with people like Harris and Pierce playing quite well, but yet not with the physical strength to play a whole game out. But Adelaide Oval, in a little bit of mud and slush, it sort of bring back, brings back memories to me. A great evener, and it's important it was a very tight game. Light at the end of the tunnel as far as South are concerned? Or not? Oh, it's a bit hard to say. Uh, they need a lot more depth in their junior club yet, and uh, without a lot of money, it's going to be hard work for Rick Davies. OK, still to come on league football action, the Red Legs and the Roosters in a great one at the parade.